Why don't we begin? It's eight o'clock. Um, Cheryl is in charge of music this morning, and we have some uh, wonderful uh, guest uh, performers to lead us in worship. So we'll begin with opening sentences and then the confession at page 79. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. At page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have left undone, and by what we have left undone. We have not we have loved, loved, loved our with our whole heart. We have not we have loved, not loved, loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. That we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. The glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. At page 80, Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall your praise. Glory, to the, Glory Father, to the Father, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning it will be now, now and it will be forever. 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 Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Invite Anne to read the Vanity, please. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before the presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. The Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 80, that is found at page 702. Page 702. While you're finding that, I just want to welcome Tuki to our gathering this morning. Thank oh. you for joining <laughs> us. What a pleasure to have you with us. Hey, Jay, how are you? <laughs> I'm well. Well, thank you for joining us. Sure. The 80th, 80th Psalm. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, leading Joseph like a flock. Chime forth that you are enthroned upon the cherubim. In the presence of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your strength and come to help us. Restore us, O God of hosts. O Lord God of hosts, you have fed them with the bread of tears. You have, you have given them bowls of tears to drink. drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbors. And our enemies laugh at us. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your mountains, we shall be saved. You have brought a vine out of Egypt. You cast out the, the nations and planted it. You prepared the ground for it. It took, took root, root and filled the land. The, land. the mountains were covered by its shadow. And the towers were the trees, trees by its bow. You stretched out its tendrils <laughs> to the sea. And its branches to the, the river. river. Why have you broken down its wall? So that all, all, all the past 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 The wild boar of the forest has ravaged it. And, and the beasts of the field have raised against it. Upon it. Turn now, O God of hosts, look down from heaven, behold, and tend this vine. Preserve your right hand. 
We burn it with fire like rubbish. At the rebuke of your countenance, let them perish. perish. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand. The son of the man you leave is strong yourself. And so will we never turn away from you. All upon your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Should the light of your hand shall be saved. Shall be fresh. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning now, and 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 now, Amen. We'll have our readings uh, from Anne. Between the readings, we'll have uh, meditation on Psalm 80 and then the Apostles' Creed, and you can feel free to mute through all of that. A reading from Acts. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter, and to the other apostles, brothers, what should we do? And Peter said to them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them saying, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized. And that day about 3000 persons were added. They devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and fellowship to the breaking of bread and prayers. All came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the good will of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. of Israel hearken from your throne upon the cherubim shine forth rouse your power and come to save us Lord make us turn to you let us see again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see, take care of this vine, and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. turn to you let us see your face and we shall be saved may your help be with a man of your right hand with a 
Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see. reading from John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, this was what he of whom I said, he who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Not one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with the affirmation of our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed, which is found at page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and heaven earth. earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our prayers are at page 97. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. Let us pray in the words Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven. hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy will, thy be, will done. be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this, this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, 
and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving, saving health, health among all nations. nations. We're going to get O oh Lord, be forgotten. Will the hope of the poor be taken, taken away? Uh, but not today. <coughs> uh, we're already getting rain. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And, and sustain us in with us, us, your Holy Spirit. Spirit. Pray for our church in a time of transition. Almighty God, you know the needs of your church in every place. Look graciously upon the people of St. James and grant us the guidance of your spirit as we move through the search process for a new rector. Thank you for the faithful stewards you've provided and will provide for our leadership. Thank you for those serving on the search committee. Bless their endeavors. Give us discernment, wisdom, patience, and confidence in your timing. We thank you for the new rector you're preparing for leadership in our community, whoever and wherever he or she may be. Help us to care for each other with mutual trust, respect, kindness, and clarity of purpose. You are the good shepherd, and we ask you to shepherd us through this journey in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And we pray for our church in the world in this time of pandemic. We pray for the church that it may not grow weary of proclaiming the gospel of Christ, praying for Michael, our presiding bishop, Rob, our bishop, Pierce, our interim rector, bless his time away on vacation and family. We pray for clergy and staff, wardens and vestry, and all who serve in your name. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all affected by the virus around the world, for the leaders of nations, that they may work together for the common good. Grant public health and government officials in our nation the strength and will to act swiftly and decisively with wisdom and compassion in service to all. We pray for our president and his administration, for the Congress, for mayors and governors, and all elected officials. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our, Hear our prayer. prayer. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they have access to medical care and regain their strength and health. Grant them healing grace. Give strength to all who care for loved ones. We pray for all those who suffer economic hardship because of the epidemic. Provide for their needs, we pray. We pray for healthcare workers who with hearts of service stand on front lines providing care. Grant them courage and protection as they put the needs of public safety before their own. Bless scientists and researchers around the world as they combat the virus that their work may yield knowledge to develop a vaccine, treatments, and improved measures to reduce its spread. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Pray for the safety and well-being of all who travel and those who remain quarantined. Remove the presence of fear and anxiety from our hearts that confident in your providence we may be generous in sharing resources. Grant that our churches and communities of faith may reflect your love as they minister to the most vulnerable among us. Fill them with your Holy Spirit as they work to be your healing hands and feet to all in need. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for those who have already lost loved ones to the virus and those who will yet suffer such loss that they may know the consolation of your love. We pray for all who have died in the hope of the resurrection and those whose faith is known to you alone that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our, Hear prayer. our prayer. And as we pray for the health crisis, we pray for the crisis of racial divide in our own country, and we lift up in particular the ministry of the group in our own parish that is meeting to reflect on uh, our role in racial reconciliation. Thank you for the leadership of our presiding bishop and his office in this regard. O oh God, who can turn our worries into wings of joys and sorrows into songs of thanks, 
let not our hearts be so troubled by the tragedies of this life's moment that we lose sight of the eternal life in your kingdom. Give comfort and solace to our companions who suffer almost unbearable losses every minute. Strengthen our resolve to replace hatred with love, tension with trust, selfishness with caring and community. Heal all our children so that those who hate and those who are hated, those who hurt and those who are hurt, may grow up in a world of peace, opportunity and justice. Amen. Amen. And as we offer our prayers, we are mindful that apparently a storm is on the way, and we pray that we will be given protection and grace and freedom from anxiety in the midst of the storm, and we pray special blessing on those whom the storm may, storm may affect most deeply, remembering those without homes, those unable to uh, get out, other persons particularly affected by this storm, Pray for blessing on them. And we pray uh, for those known to us in our community in need of healing power. And as I name them and read this list, I invite you to add, their, add other names in the column on the, on the right, or to say them out loud in a moment. As we pray for Adrian, John, Max, Sarah, Amron and Henry, Shannon and Maureen, Donald, Stuart, Grace, Delilah, Janet, Judy, Clifton, Marianne, Jocelyn. We pray for the repose of the soul of Bill Hale and ask for comfort for Anne and Susan. Pray for the repose of the soul of Nello Tear, who is the brother of Paige Tear. And we offer names for others of others who are in need of God's healing power for Bob Shell giving thanks for prayers answered, uh, moving today to rehab after a long stay in the hospital. Pray for Pam Potter, again for Paige Tear, for Michael, Jeff, Uncle Fred, Dana, Francis, John, Mildred's family, Wright and Eileen, Carl, Bob, Kathy, Kel. Are there others you wish to mention at this time? Please heal Nancy of her anxiety. Invite any Thanksgivings that you have. I want to give thanks that Maria is joined us this morning for prayers. Awesome. And that um, Pierce and Tuki can be with us and that they have some time together after they've been separated too much in the past months in his service to us. Other Thanksgivings? I'm thankful for my daughter who's concerned about her parents and in the storm, wish she would not call when she does. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Pray for those suffering the fires in California. Give thanks for a good weekend. thankful that my daughter and son-in-law are here with us. They're really good at moving furniture. Cheryl, would you read the general Thanksgiving? And then I think we have a, a musical contribution, right? We do. We're debuting the do joyful. Wanna, yeah, tell us about the musical contribution before you read your thing. Well, we are debuting the group called The Joyful Noise. And <laughs> it'll be some of the staff members. And so you can just see what's to come. All right. Um, the General Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all who you have made. 
We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. 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 Was awesome i can't wait for the cd that's great <laughs> we um we have special music tomorrow ray kennedy is providing two of his singers in the community so yes. stay stay tomorrow this is definitely an upgrade this is awesome <laughs> <laughs> great job cheryl <laughs>
Okay, that was just in the background. Nice, nice harmony, nice key change, let us pray. <laughs> Holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its people quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James Parish. Although at this time we are apart from each other, we pray your Holy Spirit unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding, keep us safe and healthy, and above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should show the love and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And thank you all. Um, since it's Monday, just a few notes about the coming week. Um, we will, uh, uh, you know, if the house is still standing, we'll be back tomorrow morning and having a morning prayer. So we'll just do that and look forward <coughs> look forward to Ray's offering, which we're so very grateful that you are participating in that way. Um, I want to just give a note. I don't know that there's anything extraordinary about the Psalms um, this week uh, as the readings come up. As, as often happens on Wednesday, we're reading from uh, Psalm 119, which is a psalm that goes on forever. We'll read a little snippet of that. And on Friday, we have another psalm redolent of Good Friday. So um, that's coming up. I made an executive decision for the month of August that we might switch to reading the book of Acts because it's just awesome. And, uh, and so uh, that was why Anne read the, the book of Acts. It is a little easier on the, on the uh, goofy names, uh, I, I'll just say, but it's also a wonderful story about the church in a time of uncertainty and transition. So I thought that was great. Um, <laughs> If it's a great revolution and you're dying to read the rest of the book of Judges, you can do two things. You can let us know in a, in a voice of protest and we can switch back. Or uh, the readings that are posted on the website include the citation for the Judges reading if you're just dying to know what happens to Gideon this week. So uh, feel, feel free to take that on yourself if you'd like. And we start, as you noticed, uh, which, is, which is really beautiful and will be great in the days ahead, we start the Gospel of John this morning. Thank you for that beautiful reading, Anne. You have a gift as a lector, and, uh, and so we'll be reading our way through the Gospel of John, which we started um, this morning. Um, so that's the deal. Again, if you have strong feelings about going back to reading the Hebrew scriptures, I don't know if what I'm doing is liturgically correct, um, but Cheryl and Pierce can, can uh, reprimand me or something if that's not right. Um, I do need readers for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We have somebody for tomorrow. Anybody want to read on Wednesday? I'll read on Wednesday. Who is that? Janet. Janet, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, anybody want to read on Thursday? I'm happy to, Jenny. Virginia, okay. Jenny. Hi, hey, Jenny, how about, could you read Friday? That's fine. Okay, so we have Janet on Wednesday, Virginia Hardy on Thursday, and Friday, uh, Jenny Woodruff. That makes okay. Sense. And tomorrow, I think um, Bob Lloyd is going to be our reader. Um, I did want to highlight that um, I will be going off to New York after Labor Day, and uh, so uh, we need to be thinking and praying about whether you all want to continue this after Labor Day or not. Aaron has graciously agreed to be our tech support, which is like a big piece of the puzzle. So um, it is, it is uh, you all are free to continue afterwards and there are a variety of ways that can happen, but just be, we don't need to decide this morning, but just be thinking and praying about whether that's something that uh, you want to continue, or if that is something that has run its course, for which we say thanks be to God. So um, church isn't always good at ending things, um, but sometimes that's appropriate too. So just uh, you can kind of keep thinking about whether you want to keep meeting in September. I don't, none of us know anything about where we will be day after tomorrow. So it's just uh, we take it a step at a time. But anyway, questions, comments, concerns, thoughts? 
Prayers for everybody's safety. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Right. Same to y'all. Okay. See you tomorrow, I think. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.